To find the derivative of a function where there is a variable under the radical sign but is only one term, the power rule for differentiation can be used. This process can be described in three steps. First, you should rewrite the function in an equivalent form so that instead of the variable being under a radical sign, it's written as the base of an exponent. Second, you should differentiate using the power rule. And finally, perform any simplifications needed so that your final answer is in simplest form. Let's begin. So the first step in differentiating f of x equals 5 times the cube root of x squared is to rewrite the function so that x, instead of being inside of a radical sign, is the base of an exponent. Recall from algebra that the nth root of any variable to the m power is equivalent to that variable, in this case a, to the power of a fractional exponent. The denominator of that fractional exponent is the root of the radical, and the numerator is any original exponent that was on that variable. The nth root of a to the m is equivalent to a to the power of m over n. In this case, we have the cube root of x squared. That's equivalent to a base of x in a power where the exponent has a denominator of the root of the radical, 3, and a numerator of 2. The cube root of x squared is equivalent to x to the 2 thirds power. So f of x equals 5 times the cube root of x squared is equivalent to 5 times x to the 2 thirds power. Once the function is rewritten, you can move to step 2, which is to differentiate using the power rule. The power rule says that the derivative of any x to the n is equal to n times x to the power of n minus 1. So here we have an n of 2 thirds. So the derivative is 2 thirds times the coefficient 5 times x to the power of 2 thirds minus 1. 2 thirds times 5 is 10 thirds, and 2 thirds minus 1 is negative 1 third. We now have a derivative. However, the derivative has a negative exponent, which we will rewrite. In step 3, simplify. A negative exponent will move the factor of x to the denominator of a fraction. 10 thirds times x to the negative 1 third is equivalent to 10 thirds times 1 over x to the 1 third. These two factors can be combined, and it's simpler to write them as a single fraction, 10 over 3x to the 1 third. And finally, instead of writing our answer with a fractional exponent, like the original function, we'll write it with radical notation. The derivative of f of x in simplest form is 10 over 3 times the cube root of x.